just want to read what I want to read. So I'm doing a bit of something's not right here, but we're just going to really keep the pace and really keep the hype. For me personally, I knew that as soon as I watched the as soon as I watched the series, I would then want to read the books. So I'm gonna go Hi, I'm Lizzie and Susie Reads and welcome to my end of the year series TBR. So from now and until the end of the year, these are the books that are on my series TBR books in series that I want to read and yeah. So I may do an individual book edition or books that I don't see as part of a series. Um, but most these are most of the series that I'm currently in the middle of and um, or are what are on my high priorities. I don't think I'm going to do another um, TBR now for a little while just because I've been finding, although I love participating and like doing my TBRs, but I've just been feeling a bit like, I just want to read what I want to read, so I'm doing a bit of a mood read moment. I may do like a Christmas TBR mash, um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on here, and that's what we're going to do. I look a bit weird, like something's not right here, but we're just going to deal with it. And let's get into the pile of books that are on my TBR. These are just the um, start of the series um like so or like where i'm out or the most recent one i've read or what i own in the series because i don't actually own all of them and i'll like sort of explain as each one goes and first of all i want to make some progress in the realm of the elverling series so i've just finished a quest assassin's quest uh, by robin hobb which is the a book three in the varsity trilogy and next i want to read the live ship traders trilogy and if i'm really lucky and i really manage to get some reading done I'd really, really love to read the Fits and Fall trilogy this year as well. I'd like to be sort of as caught up as soon as possible with the Elderling Along reads. Um, the Elderling, the Realm of the Elderling series is um, uh, basically about a fantasy world. Um, and the Farseer trilogy is about Fitz. And Fitz is a young boy who is the bastard son of the king in waiting at the beginning of um, Assassin's Apprentice and he is abandoned by his uh, family into royal life and basically he is kept as to be trained as an assassin um, because obviously bastards can, if things get tough, contest the throne and can cause a lot of problems. Um, I really love Robin Hopper's writing. I think the way she writes is really beautiful. It doesn't feel too slow, and there's lots of slow moments in here, lots of character development, um, and lots of things at play, lots of out of things going on. And I love how everything links together. And um, yeah, it's got some really good sort of sort of storylines in this that I really loved, and I particularly loved Assassin's Quest, even though um, it's quite chunky and a lot of people said they found it quite boring in places. I found now with my rhythm with Robin Hobb, I think the best way for me to do it is to kind of binge them. So I think what I'm planning on doing is either at the end of October or the beginning of November is binging the three Live Ship Trader Traders books, maybe in the space of a week. I don't know, that would involve reading like 400 pages a day, um, but like a, a in one sort of sitting, like one after another, because then I think I can really keep the pace and really keep the hype for me personally. Um, but you know plans may change so I'm definitely going to read the live ship trader traders and I would quite like to read fits in the fall maybe like in that week between Christmas and New Year that would be a really good time to read it um, but yeah so those are definitely on my TBR for this year and then next we have Wheel of Time now obviously I'm not going to try and read the like millions of pages in the 14 I think 800 page books or whatever um, but I do want to read um, Will of Time, The Isle of the, Isle of the World, and the second, the sequel, which is The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan, uh, within the next couple of months because the Amazon Prime TV show comes out on the twentieth of November, I think, um, around the time Taylor Swift's album has been released. Is uh, Taylor Swift's uh, version of Red is released? But um, The Wheel of Time is another epic, sprawling fantasy series and I think the idea is that time is cyclical and everything keeps repeating and yeah, just I don't really know much about it other than the fact I watched the trailer, heard it was, thought it looked really good and knew that as soon as I watched the, as soon as I watched the series, I would then want to read the books. So I'm going to give the books a try first um, just because then um, 
I can sort of be like keeping with it and hopefully um, I will really enjoy it. Obviously, um, I haven't bought the second one because I don't know if I'm going to like the first one. I've heard it's very spoiling um, and not very much happens, but I'm going to take my time with it. Or I might try and do what I did with Hobbs and read them really quickly and see if that helps with my absorption. I do have these books on audio, so hopefully that will help. Um, but I know the first series has the first two books in it, so I want to read those and then hopefully read the rest. Um, as and when but uh, that's my current project then we have knots and crosses uh, and I've read knots and crosses and I think there's five books and I um, want to read knife edge next and um, these are by Mallory but knife edge is the sequel to knots and crosses and knots and crosses it's about Callum and Seffi and Callum is a knot and Seffi is a cross and a uh, cross is another word uh, for black and a uh, knot is another word for white and um, crosses tend to be the ruling class or are the ruling class in this um, society and it's an introspective look at racism and um, it's it's a book for it's a YA book and I read it when I read the series when I was a teenager and it really um, opened my eyes to racism and I decided to read them again um, because I remember um, they were just such wonderful books and I really like Marilyn Blackman's writing and I read Knots and Crosses earlier this year and I would like to continue this series um, and there's a new one that came out this year like a follow on um, and I can't quite remember what happened in the later books I can really I remember Knots and Crosses particularly well and Knife Edge quite well but the rest of the series isn't one that I'm really really like I didn't re read them over and over again when I was younger which is why I did a lot of my books um, Yes, I'm really excited to read this and that how this follows on from the story. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. And then I would also like to finish the Lumberjanes graphic novels. I've been reading these on script, so I don't have them to show you. Um, but I really enjoyed Lumberjanes and I read them a lot in the earlier part of the year. But I didn't finish them. I haven't read any in a couple of months. So I'm really hoping to read the, loads of those soon. Fingers crossed on that one. Um, and this is just about a group of like they're like girl guides kind of and they go to um, a camp called Lumber Jane's and lots of magical fantastical things happen and it's really fun and it's really nice I love reading it next we have P the Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus series so I'm currently on Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse I'm currently reading it at the moment I'm doing a reading vlog of all of reading all of them and I actually think I'm going to try and like read the last three uh, books in the series back to back uh, because I'm really enjoying it I'm finding it really fun and yeah I like the world of the demigods the gods I like exploring it all and it just feels like a nice cozy read for this time of year then we also have the final book in the pages and co series which I'll put here because I've forgotten the name of it um technically this isn't a series but it's a series I want to get up to date with because I love 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 Tilly and the Book Wanderers and the pages and co series by Anna James and I think they're so fun it's about a young girl called Tilly who is a book wanderer which means she can go into stories and sort of live them and interact with the characters and it's just the most wonderful middle grade. I might save it for the final round of believe a so um, I'll probably read that next month. I also want to finish the A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. I think I'm up to book seven and I was reading the re I read the first one when I was quite young and I hated it because it was really sad and I didn't like books that were sad then. I used to read books about unicorns and things like that. So I found it really upsetting and I didn't continue. Um, however, I recently, I want to say like two, three years ago, started reading them again. And then I have been reading them since then. And I stopped reading them because um, I think I stopped being able to borrow them from my library, but they're back on my library again. And I think I'm going to try and also binge the series. Um, and try and finish them all in one go like maybe like near Halloween because obviously they're a bit very creepy and they're a bit like they give me like autumn October vibes I do think also I do want to watch the show for this as well I do think that um, the you see a common theme here is that I'm trying to binge everything and that's because I just feel like that's the way I enjoy things most if I binge them so that's what I'm currently going to try and do and then I've got some books that are not like I would like to get to this year series I would like to read this year but I'm not a hundred percent sure 
if I'm going to be able to get to them. Um, and these are on like, the long line if things go really well for me. And the first one is I'd like to start at least the long way to a small angry planet by Becky Chambers. This is a sci-fi um, series. I know that it's very character based and I have all of the books. So that's kind of a reason why I'd really, really like to get reading them soon. And then I'd also like to finish the last two books in the Darker Shade of Magic series because I read the first one on audio a couple of months ago. And this is about um, a world in which there are like three, four Londons, I think. And in each London there is the varying levels of magic and it's about some characters who can travel between the worlds. So I would quite like to get reading those. And then last, um, if I have time, I would like to purchase and read um, the last few books in the Poppy War trilogy, or one of them at least, make some more progress with that. Um, these, these, it's a, um, it's about a young girl called Rin who gets accepted into this um, sort of military school and it just goes so much further than that and it's got magic, it's um, really brutal, lots of bad things happen and it's really good, it's really good but I just didn't want to pick it up again straight away so that's why I haven't progressed and I don't want it to stall so I don't want to take it too long so I think these last couple of ones, if they're not up until the end of the year, they'll definitely be in my new year TBR and I'll definitely do an update on this video in the new year and then refresh with some series ideas um, and also I'll let you know any books that I do want to read before the end of the year that aren't like series based. There's not many of them because I mainly read series these days. But thank you so, 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 so much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.